With her 11th studio album, The Tortured Poets Department, Taylor Swift was anticipated to take aim at her former flames, but Kim Kardashian took the biggest hit. One of the songs from the album's second batch, Thank You Amy, seemed to have random letters capitalized in its title when it was first released early on Friday, April 19. But as they looked closer, astute fans saw that the capital letters stood for a name, Kim. Fans of Swift will be aware that the 34-year-old has a history of using capitalization to obliquely convey meaning in her songs, this practice was maintained for each of her albums until the release of Reputation. But when she started dropping hints about TTPD in the run-up to the record's release, she brought the game back. Swift begins, Thank You Amy, a song that defies expectations by stating that she sees a bronze spray tan statue of Amy with a plaque underneath it that threatens to push me down the stairs at our school when she imagines her hometown, which is most likely Los Angeles. With its high school allegory, Amy is positioned as Swift's juvenile bully, someone the pop singer hopes to one day defeat. I can't forgive the way you made me feel slash screamed F, K, U, Amy to the night sky, as the blood was gushing, she screams on the song, giving her opponent some credit in the process. But I can't forget the way you made me heal, she adds. Swift claims in another verse of the song that there was never a clean kill or a fair fight between the two ladies. She makes reference to Amy, or, to put it more bluntly, Kardashian, stomping across her grave and creating headlines where people laughed at each baby step I'd take. The history of Swift and Kardashian's dispute dates back to 2009, when the reality star's now ex-husband, Kanye West, went on stage at the MTV VMAs and said that Beyoncé was deserving of the prize that Swift had just won. Swift criticized West in 2016 for rapping in one of his songs, Me and Taylor Still Might Have Sex Slash I Made That Be, H Famous. Kardashian defended West by releasing a recording of a phone call between the two artists. That year, Kardashian also mocked Swift by posting a ton of snakes in honor of National Snake Day. With her Revenge album reputation in 2017, the singer returned with a vengeance, discussing the conflict in an essay for Elle two years later. Before turning 30 in 2019, she wrote for the site, It would be nice if we could get an apology from people who bully us, but maybe all I'll ever get is the satisfaction of knowing I could survive it and thrive in spite of it. Then, in 2020, Swift rekindled the feud when the complete transcript of her phone call with Kardashian was made public online. Swift said at the time on her Instagram stories that the new video demonstrated that she was telling the truth the whole time. She chastised Kardashian for initially sharing the video on Snapchat. Swift stated, you know, the one that was illegally taped, that somebody edited and manipulated to frame me and put me, my family, and fans through hell for four years. Conversely, Kardashian asserted that Swift was lying about what transpired. When Kardashian stunned her followers in 2021 by complimenting Swift and her music in a podcast edition of Honestly with Barry Weiss, when asked which Swift song was her favorite, she said, I really like a lot of her songs. They're all really endearing and memorable. To find a name, I would need to check my phone. Swift hasn't progressed on the same manner, if Thank You Amy is any guide. Actually, according to the song, Kardashian's remarks are still just ringing in my head. Swift says, everyone knows that my mother is as a saintly woman slash but she used to say she wished that you were dead. Another reference is to Swift's mother, Andrea. Swift speculates in the bridge that maybe Kardashian has reframed the feud so that it is easier for her to let go of it, in your mind, you never beat my spirit black and blue. Swift continues by pointing out that by changing Kardashian's name and omitting any defining clues, she has safeguarded her identity on the song. Of course not really, because the whole song, all the way down to the title, is one big neon light aimed at Kardashian. The song's last lyrics seem to mock Kardashian for stating that she likes Swift's music. The Grammy winner speculates that perhaps Kardashian's kids, who she shares with West and goes by the names North, 10, Saint, 8, Chicago, 6, and Psalm, 4, will also appreciate her music. Swift jokes, and one day, your kid comes home singing a song that only us two is gonna know is about you. She ends by offering Kardashian one final heartfelt thank you. From this height, our town appears incredibly tiny, 
she remarks. Amy, thank you. Now available is the Tortured Poets Department.